All right. So first thing, congratulations on purchasing a state-of-the-art Class 1 Svantec 971 sound level meter. Worldwide bestseller based on its price, based on its all the functions that you can do with it. Just an amazing piece of gear. It's going to come in a nice little box like this. We have options for carry cases and different accessories. If you want them, please inquire. Otherwise, you will be unboxing the instrument like this. And I'm just going to run you through how to do some basic measurements, what comes with it, that sort of thing. So by default, we have a factory certificate that is from Europe, from the manufacturer. We supply our own NATA certificates with a purchase or higher. CD-ROM for USB drivers and software. And a warranty card for three years, so please hang on to this. We also have a download cable to connect the instrument to your PC. We have a microphone box with a factory certificate on it as well. We have a standard handheld windshield, not all weather. There's four AAA batteries that come in here as well, which go into the instrument, which I've already done. And then the instrument itself. So you've got this nice little carry tie. You put this around your hand. Make sure you don't drop it when you give it to colleagues, because that happens a lot. So I'm just going to move this to the side for now. And basically what we have on the back of the instrument itself, we have orientations of which way the battery should go in. Using a screwdriver, find it, unscrew the whole cap, the base cap will come off and you have the, the orientations of where the batteries go in. So four triple A's, two going positive, two going negative. Screw the cap back up. Also underneath the cap you have the download cable and socket. So once that's done, you have a dust cap for microphones. We recommend using dust caps if they're sitting in the office, stuff like that, because once dust gets under the microphone gauze, it can rip and puncture. Hence, you're going to be replacing a microphone pretty soon. So keep the microphone as clean as possible, as much as possible. So now it's all set up. Like many Svan instruments, we have shift. It'll usually be a shift and a start button to turn the instrument on. Same thing. We have directionals, escape, and enter. So shift, just turn it on. It's going to take us through a Svantec menu. It's going to start up. Now, it will prompt us to enter the time and the date. You can sync that to your computer through the software. It will sync the time and the date to the computer, which is probably much easier, or you can do it manually on the instrument. So first things first, shift and menu to go into the menu. So we go into menu. We go into function, which is the first one, measurement function. So at the moment, I've set it on level meter. You have the options for one octave, one third octave. If it's active, you press enter and it'll work. So this one's not active, so it says enter a code. The code is a payable option. Usually we calibrate it with the code and we order it from overseas from the factory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press escape because we're not using that function. And we're just going to do level meter for this example. Next one's calibration. So enter by measurement. So now on the output of our acoustic calibrator, when it's calibrated, we should have a level. So 114.02 output at 1000 hertz. So what we're going to do, set it to 114.02. You've got two options here. Pump, put it on the microphone, select 114, press start. So the instrument's going to go through its internal calibration. Cal drift 0.0, .0 fantastic. Enter to save. So first thing, like some other instruments, if you want to spot check yourself, just press start. The delay will come. Scroll down. We don't want to watch LEQ just for now. Uh, LAF 114 dB. So we know that the instrument's in Cal. So what I'm going to do is go shift back to the menu and go to measurement. Before moving forward, you have to go to the bottom of the instrument and go to instrument, user interface and go to advanced. By default, Svan 971 comes in simple and it won't let you do a few features like logging, etc. So put it to advanced, press enter to save and escape. Scroll all the way up, back to measurement and general settings. Once again, start delay. Do you want it to start a minute later after you press start? Start sync. Do you want it to start on the 15 minutes or no, just start when you press start? Integration period. Typically for environmental, 15 minutes. Repetition cycles. How many cycles of 15 minutes do you want to go through? Infinite, yes. Daytime running LEQs, don't worry about this, leave it as default, enter. Measurement trigger. That's if you want to set the, measure, uh, the measurement to start when a level's actually exceeded. This is up to you, play around with it. We just, we have it log and then we don't really worry about a measurement trigger. Down to profile. So, the Svantec instruments are fantastic. You can have three profiles running simultaneously 
all on one display as well. So let's set it to profile 1, A, fast. Profile 2, C, fast. Profile 3, Z, fast. Boom. Enter. Logging. Enter. Logger setup. Logger on. Logger split. Do you want to split files? Logger step. One second, typically for sound. Logger name. You can change the name. Summary results. Yes, we want them. Enter. Logger results. What do you want to see? What don't you want to see? There's a nice big 8 gig SD card in there. This is fine. It's not memory limited, so it shouldn't matter. Leave it all on. You can untick it later. Logger trigger. That's if you want the actual logger to start after it's triggering. Escape. Changes. Yes. Event recording. So if you've purchased audio event recording on the instrument, so once a level's exceeded, you want it to start recording audio for a minute, like a barking dog, so you can prove it back, you'll say, yes, this is not active, it's got no code, so that's where you can tell. Otherwise, it'll ask you what threshold you want to choose, stuff like that. So once that's done, enter. Escape, escape, down. Range, low range for sound, unless you're measuring jet planes or something really loud. Compensation filter, microphone, on. Leave it on when you're calibrating. Windscreen, on. Once I pop that... This, wind, uh, this windshield on, that's going to compensate for this windshield, and then you can go down. If you have an all-weather windshield, you can pop the windscreen on for that as well. So enter to save. Down. Statistical levels. Leave them. You can change them if you want. Escape. Down. Timer. Do you want the instrument to turn on at a certain time and turn off at a certain time? Up to you. We don't do it. Escape. Escape. Display. Display modes. This is all. You can display statistics, logger, results, file info. All sorts of different things. Screen setup. Do you want the dim mode to change? Do you want it to, you know, all sorts of different display settings here. Escape. Yes. Escape. File. File manager. This is where you can go in and actually select each file as you're going through it. You can press enter. Escape. Escape. All right. So once we set up the way we want to, you can just basically press start on the instrument. As mentioned, you have three profiles running simultaneously. So thanks to Svantec, if we go shift down, we can change this to all these different parameters. LNs, you've got 1% overall, time, peak values, max values, min, fast. So now we're concerned about instantaneous results because we're on site and we're taking a measurement. So you can change all of this. This is all interchangeable, what you want. But basically, we've got LAF running straight. So if we press down arrow, we're going to see the same measurement, but with a larger display of the values. So we can go shift, down, down, down. So now I've got A fast on the display. So, so straight away, you're on site, you're trying to measure you know, machinery, your dog barking, whatever. You can see it on the screen. All of this data will be saved to the SD card and you can download it. If we keep scrolling down, you're going to see you know, some time history. If you have one third octave active, you'll be able to see the frequency analysis on the display. Here you've got LNs. You can select which LN you're looking for, L88, L90. All of these can be displayed on the screen. Once you press stop on that measurement, all of this data, so for example, I press stop, this data will be from the previous file. So then you can go, what was the L90 of that previous file? Oh, there we go. So there you go, 50, hang on. 53. Let's go down. What was the instantaneous? Actually, that's going to be instantaneous, but what we can do is go up. We can go down, sorry, down, down, and then we can go LEQ. So we know for that previous measurement, the LEQ was 77.2, probably because I whistled into it. Basically, that's it. Then stop the measurement, press on off, switch it off.